Marietta, Ohio. Marietta is a city in, in the county seat of Washington County, Ohio, United States. During 1788, pioneers to the Ohio country established Marietta as the first permanent settlement of the new United States in the territory northwest of the River Ohio. Marietta is located in southeastern Ohio at the mouth of the Muskingum River at its confluence with the Ohio River. The population was 14,085 at the 2010 census. It is the second largest city in the Parkersburg Marietta Vienna, WVO combined statistical area. The private, non sectarian liberal arts Marietta College is located here. It was a station on the Underground Railroad before the Civil War. Marietta is also the site of the prehistoric Marietta Earthworks, a Hopewell complex more than 1,500 years old, whose Great Mound and other major monuments were preserved by the earliest settlers in parks such as the Mound Cemetery. Marietta is located at 39.420824 minus 81.450506. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and is water. The Muskingum River and Duck Creek flow into the Ohio River at Marietta. The area is part of the Appalachian Plateau which covers the eastern half of Ohio. The Appalachian Plateau consists of steep hills and valleys and is the most rugged area in the state. The area is within the eco-region of the western Allegheny Plateau. This portion of the state is blessed with beautiful scenery and Ohio's most abundant mineral deposits. The climate in this area is characterized by humid summers, cold winters, and evenly distributed precipitation throughout the year. According to the Köppen Climate Classification System, Marietta has a humid continental climate, abbreviated DFA on climate maps. Succeeding Indian cultures lived along the Ohio River and its tributaries for thousands of years. Among them were more than one culture who built earthwork mounds, monuments which generally expressed their cosmology, often with links to astronomical events. Between 100 BC and AD 500, the Hopewell culture built the multi earthwork complex on the terrace east of the Muskingum River near its mouth with the Ohio. It is now known as the Marietta Earthworks. Developed over many years, it had a large enclosed square within which were four platform mounds, used for ceremonial purposes and elite residential, another square, and a larger conical mound used for burials. A walled, graded path led to the river's edge. By the time of the historic tribes, such as the Shawnee, the purposes and makers of the monuments were no longer known. French explorers entered this area in the 18th century, and in 1749 buried numerous leaden plates to mark their claim to the Ohio country, which they called the Illinois Territory. As they had more settlements near the Mississippi River, they later ceded their territory east of the Mississippi to Great Britain after the French and Indian War. Two of their plates were discovered in the Marietta area in 1798, and one was replicated for what is known as the French Monument, erected in the 20th century. See photo at right. In 1770, the future U.S. President George Washington, then a surveyor, began exploring large tracts of land west of his native Virginia. During the Revolutionary War, Washington told his friend General Rufus Putnam of the beauty he had seen in his travels through the Ohio Valley and of his ideas for settling the territory. After the American Revolutionary War, the United States sold or granted large tracts of land to stimulate development in this area. Marietta was founded by settlers from New England who were investors in the Ohio Company of Associates. It was the first of numerous New England settlements in what was then the Northwest Territory. These New Englanders, or Yankees as they were called, were descended from the Puritan English colonists who had settled New England in the 1600s and were primarily Congregationalists. The first church constructed in Marietta was a Congregationalist church, founded around 1786. Before the mid-1790s services were held at the Fort or in Moonsills Hall at nearby Point Harmer. In 1798 the Muskingum Academy was built on the site of the 19th century Marietta Congregationalist Church. The Academy building served for both educational and religious purposes. In the summer of 1781, John Carpenter built Carpenter's Fort, or Carpenter's Station as it was sometimes called, a fortified house above the mouth of Short Creek on the Ohio side of the Ohio River, near present-day Marietta. After the war, the newly formed United States had little cash but plenty of land. Eager to develop additional lands, the new government decided to pay veterans off the revolution with warrants for land in the Northwest Territory, which was organized under federal authority in 1787 by the Northwest Ordinance. Competing states had agreed to end their claims to the lands, 
Pennsylvania and Virginia received some lands in a settlement. Arthur St. Clair was appointed by the president as governor of the new territory. The Ohio Company of Associates had supported provisions in the ordinance to allow veterans to use their warrants to purchase the land. They bought 1.5 million acres, 6,100 square kilometers, of land from Congress. On April 7, 1788, 48 men of the Ohio Company of Associates, led by General Putnam, arrived at the confluence of the Muskingum and Ohio Rivers. The site was on the east side of the Muskingum River, across from Fort Harmer, a military outpost built three years prior. Bringing with them the first government sanctioned by the U.S. for this area, they established the first permanent United States settlement in the Northwest Territory. Older European settlements in the Northwest Territory region include Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, 1668, Detroit, 1701, Prairie du Rocher, Illinois, 1720, and Vincennes, Indiana, 1732, all settled by ethnic French colonists from Canada, the Americans named Marietta in honor of Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France, who had aided the colonies in their battle for independence from Great Britain. The Indians were unhappy to see white settlers moving into their territory. The latter immediately started construction of two forts, Campus Martius, whose former site is now occupied by the museum of the same name, and picketed Point Stockade, at the confluence of the Muskingum and Ohio Rivers. At the same time, the settlers started developing their community, platted according to plans they had made in Boston. In 1788, George Washington said, the families of the settlers began arriving within a few months. By the end of 1788, 137 people populated the area. In 1789, the United States signed the Treaty of Fort Harmer with several Indian tribes that occupied areas of the Northwest Territory, to settle issues related to trade, as well as the boundary between their lands and United States settlement. The U.S. did not address the Indians' major grievance about American settlers moving into their lands, particularly in the Western Reserve where there were disputes over land. Although Congress authorized Governor Arthur St. Clair to give land back to the Indians, he did not do so. Conflict increased as the Indians tried to push the settlers out. After years of warfare in the region, they were defeated. The U.S. signed the Treaty of Greenville, 1795, with the Indians, which secured the safety of settlers to leave the forts and develop their farms. The settlers held services regularly and chartered the first church in 1796. It was a congregational institution, its charter was unusually inclusive due to the varied religious backgrounds of its members. The congregation constructed the first church building in 1807. Education was important to the settlers, many of whom had been officers during the Revolution. During that first winter, they began a basic school for the children at Campus Martius. In 1797, settlers founded Muskingum Academy. The town had numerous abolitionists, and Ephraim Cutler was instrumental ace state delegate in 1802 at the state convention in swaying the vote for the state to be free of slavery. Townspeople organized and chartered Marietta College in 1835. It was used as a station on the Underground Railroad to help slaves escape from the South. Ohio University was founded earlier in Athens, on land reserved for public education under the Northwest Ordinance. The settlers preserved the Great Mound, or Conus, by planning their own cemetery around it. They also preserved the two largest platform mounds, which they called Capitolinus and Quadrophenus. The former was developed as the site for the city library. As of 1900, the Mound Cemetery had the highest number of burials of Revolutionary War officers in the nation, indicating the nature of the generation that settled Marietta. Marietta's location on two major navigable rivers made it ideal for industry and commerce. Boat building was one of the early industries. Artisans built ocean going vessels and sailed them down river to the Mississippi and south to New Orleans and the Gulf of Mexico. In less than two decades after settlement, the steamboat had been developed, and was also constructed here. Brick factories and sawmills supplied materials for homes and public buildings. An iron mill, along with several foundries, provided rails for the growing railroad industry. The Marietta Chair Factory Midi Furniture. Interest in the prehistoric culture that built the Marietta Earthworks continued. The complex was surveyed and drawn by Ephraim George Squire and Edwin Hamilton Davis, whose large project on numerous prehistoric mounds throughout the Ohio and Mississippi Valleys was published by the Smithsonian Institution in 1848 as Ancient Monuments of the Mississippi Valley. It was the first book published by the Smithsonian. Their drawing to the right shows the plan of the original complex 
which included a large square enclosure surrounding four flat top pyramidal mounds, another smaller square, and a circular enclosure with a large burial mound at its center. The walled, graded path, called by the settlers the Sacravaya, led from the largest enclosure to the lower river's edge. This pathway was destroyed in 1843 during mid 19th century development. Local development began with the Belpre and Cincinnati Railroad, BNC, it was founded in 1845. It was intended to connect from Belpre, Ohio, the next town downriver, to a planned Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, B&O, spurred to Parkersburg. But, for years, the Virginia government did not allow B&O to construct tracks south of Wheeling. In 1851 developers changed the Ohio State Terminus to Marietta and changed the name of the railroad to the Marietta and Cincinnati Railroad that year. The right-of-way for an alternate connection to the B&O extended upriver from Marietta to Bel Air, Ohio. The MNC was bankrupt by 1857, but construction of track continued west to reach Cincinnati. The first through train from Cincinnati ran on April 9, 1857. The MNC got out of bankruptcy in 1860. In 1871, the Ohio Valley Railroad was formed and for the next two years built tracks going north for 103 miles. Their home office was in Marietta, with treasurer offices in Pittsburgh. The Ohio Valley Railroad was reorganized as the Marietta and Cleveland. The Pennsylvania Railroad and its expansion ladder purchased the railroad and its right-of-way between Marietta and Bel Air. Passengers traveling between Marietta and Parkersburg, Virginia, now West Virginia, had to take a steamboat for the 14 miles between the two towns and transfer. With help from the B&O and the Baltimore City Council, the Union Railroad finally connected Marietta to Belbury. Ohio in 1860. Later absorbed by the Biondo, this section of track is still in operation. 2008, with unit coal trains providing most of the traffic. The planned bridge from Parkersburg across the Ohio River to Belpre was finally built 1868 to 1870 by the Biondo, as part of its main line from Baltimore to St. Louis, Missouri. This cut Marietta off from traffic and trade, although it retained local and Ohio service. In the early 20th century, 24 passenger trains served Marietta each day, most of which ran on the PRR tracks. William P. Cutler was a major figure in the MNC. He also backed the Union Railroad and the Marietta, Columbus, and Cleveland Railroad, among other local railroads. Cutler served as general manager and as president of the MNC for many years. In 1860, oil was first drilled in the Marietta region. Oil booms in 1875 and 1910 made investors rich who constructed numerous lavish houses in town, of which many still stand. The Dawes brothers of Marietta founded the Pure Oil Company. All four brothers became nationally prominent businessmen and slash or politicians, Charles Gates Dawes, Rufus C. Dawes, Beeman Gates Dawes, and Henry May Dawes. Charles Dawes was elected in 1924 with President Calvin Coolidge to serve as the 30th Vice President of the United States, 1925 to 1929. In 1925, he shared the Nobel Peace Prize, based on his work on the Dawes Plan and relieving an international crisis in 1923 related to German reparations after World War I. In 1880, the first Putnam Street Bridge was opened to connect Marietta to Ford Harbor. It provided the first free crossing of the Muskingum River. As transportation advanced along railroads and highways, Marietta was initially passed by. From 1868 to 1870, the B&O Railroad built a bridge to connect Parkersburg, West Virginia and Belpre, and the National Road went further north through Zanesville. But, the Pennsylvania Railroad expanded in the late 19th century and had a station in Marietta, running 26 daily trains between Marietta and Pittsburgh. After World War II passenger service decreased as the railroads restructured and the federal government invested in highway construction. The last rail passenger service ended in 1953. Marietta was relatively isolated from new travel routes until 1967, when I-77 was opened with close access to the city. Before the United States entered the Great War, a group of 23 young men went from Marietta College to serve in France in 1917 as an ambulance unit, for Diadine Battle. In 1937-1938, during the U.S. celebration of the Northwest Territory, France gave a plaque to the city of Marietta, which was installed on the French Monument to commemorate these young men and their service. See photo at right. In 1939, the Sons and Daughters of Pioneer Rivermen was established in Marietta during the Great Depression to celebrate the city's substantial river history and its people. 
Two years later the Ohio River Museum was opened. In 1972, the museum campus was totally redesigned. Marietta is home of the longest-running ferromanganese refinery in North America, Arame Marietta Industries Incorporated, the only ferromanganese refinery in the United States until recently, and leader in manganese emissions. The city of Marietta uses the mayor council form of government. The mayor is a full-time position, the seven city council members and the city council president are all part-time positions. The President of Council B.R. The President of Council presides over all regular and special meetings of the Council although he has no vote therein except in case of a tie. The President of Council appoints all Council members to the Standing Committees and is responsible for several City Board and Commission appointments as well as in charge of the records of City Council. The President of Council oversees all the day-to-day -day operations of the Clerk of Council. The President of Council serves as the liaison to the City Administration. When the mayor is absent from the city or unable to perform his duties, the president of council shall become acting mayor and shall have the same powers and perform the same duties as the mayor. The president of council is elected to a two year term. At large councilmen BR3 at large council members represent the entire city of Marietta. All members of council chair a standing committee and serve on two other standing committees. At large council members sponsor and introduce legislation and have a vote. All council members are elected to two year terms. Ward Councilman BR4 Ward Council members represent each of the city's four wards. All members of council chair a standing committee and serve on two other standing committees. Ward Council members sponsor and introduce legislation and have a vote. All council members are elected to two year terms. President Pro Tem BR Greater than a President Pro Tem is chosen by the members of the council from among the council to serve as the President Pro Tem, acting President of Council, in the absence disability or when the president of council is serving as acting mayor. Clerk of Council BR The clerk of council is responsible for recording council meeting minutes, reading the legislation at council meetings and performing the daily operations off council office. The council clerk is appointed by the council and is supervised by the president of council. Mayor of Marietta BR Joseph A. Matthews, a Democrat, is the current mayor of Marietta. He defeated Republican John Hambrick in 2015. Before becoming mayor, Matt Dubbs was a firefighter for the city of Marietta and prior to that he served in the Marine Corps. Matthews served as mayor from 1992 to 2003 and then was beat by Democrat Michael Moon Mullen in 2003. Matthews took office again in January 2008, and was re-elected in 2015. It is unsure whether Matthews will run for re-election in 2019. Safety Service Director B.R. Jonathan Hupp is the current Safety Service Director of Marietta. He was appointed by Matthews in 2015. City of Marietta politics feature a number of citizens' groups that influence policy and public opinion. Such groups as Citizens for Responsible Government, the Citizens' Armory Preservation Society, and Neighbors for Clean Air work to improve the public process. Exercise significant influence over the government of the city. The residents of the city of Marietta are represented by Republican J. Edwards, District 94 and by former council-at-large Republican Andy Thompson, District 95, in the Ohio House of Representatives and Republican Frank Hoagland, District 30, in the Ohio Senate. In the U.S. House of Representatives, Marietta is represented by Republican Bill Johnson. Interstate 77 runs east of Marietta connecting it to Cleveland, Ohio to the north and Charleston, West Virginia to the south. Five state routes run through Marietta. These are Ohio State Route 7, Ohio State Route 60, Ohio State Route 26, Ohio State Route 550, and Ohio State Route 676. Marietta is served by Mid-Ohio Valley Regional Airport in Williamstown, West Virginia which has three flights a day Monday through Friday from Charlotte Douglas International Airport. As of the census of 2010, there were 14,085 people, 5,828 households, and 3,215 families residing in the city. The population density was. There were 6,519 housing units at an average density of. The racial makeup of the city was 94.9% white, 1.3% African American, 0.3% Native American, 1.4% Asian, half a percent from other races, and 1.5% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.1% of the population.
There were 5,828 households of which 25.3% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 37.9% were married couples living together, 13.0% had a female householder with no husband present, 4.3% had a male householder with no wife present, and 44.8% were non-families. 37.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.14 and the average family size was 2.80. The median age in the city was 39 years. 18.9% of residents were under the age of 18, 16% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 21.1% were from 25 to 44. 25.7% were from 45 to 64, and 18.4% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 46.9% male and 53.1% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 14,515 people, 5,904 households, and 3,501 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,747.0 people per square mile, 674.4 per square kilometer. There were 6,609 housing units at an average density of 795.4 per square mile, 307.1 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 96.31% white, 1.08% African American, 0.46% Native American. 0.71% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 0.28% from other races, and 1.11% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 0.79% of the population. There were 5,904 households out of which 27.2% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 42.4% were married couples living together. 13.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 40.7% were non-families. 35.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.6% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.21 and the average family size was 2.86. In the city the population was spread out with 20.9% under the age of 18. 14.0% from 18 to 24, 25.1% from 25 to 44, 22.3% from 45 to 64, and 17.7% .7 who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females, there were 87.1 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 82.8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $29,272, and the median income for a family was $36,042. Males had a median income of $30,683 versus $22,085 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,021. About 13.6% of families and 16.9% of the population were below the poverty line including 24.6% of those under age 18 and 10.4% of those age 65 or over. Arame has released thousands of pounds of manganese and other hazardous air pollutants into the air. The Marietta City School District operates four elementary schools, one middle school, and Marietta High School. Marietta has a public library, a branch of the Washington County Public Library. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.